Hello. Welcome to Joan Lindsay's mysterious picnic at Hanging Rock. And the majestic Hanging Rock is before you now. Did anything really happen on Hanging Rock to inspire the famous story? Perhaps. Hanging Rock is famous as an ominous yet enticing character in Joan Lindsay's 1967 novel, Picnic at Hanging Rock. Everyone agreed the day was just right for the picnic to Hanging Rock. The drama centres around the mysterious disappearance of a quartet of schoolgirls who vanish at the rock after a picnic on Valentine's Day, 1900. Lindsay lends credence to the tale by concluding her work with an extract from a Melbourne newspaper dated February 14, 1913 which explores the mystery in detail. Although St. Valentine's Day is usually associated with the giving and taking of presents and affairs of the heart, it is exactly 13 years since the fatal Saturday when a party of some 20 schoolgirls and two governesses set out from Appleyard College on the Bendigo Road for a picnic to Hanging Rock. The report has proved elusive for decades. Searching digitised newspapers on Trove and other archives, countless other incidents were found. 16 schoolgirls were rescued after a seaside picnic went wrong near Launceston in 1899. Some also involved tragic loss, like the fatal disappearance of Louis Vaisseau during a family outing in 1858. Such stories gave rise to the rich mythology of lost children in Australian literature, bush poetry and art. Perhaps best illustrated by Frederick McCubbin's Lost, painted in 1886. McCubbin was inspired by the true account of 12-year-old Clara Crosby, miraculously found after three weeks missing near Lilydale. Depicted here, the earthy yellow tones are brittle and mournful the dark green bush encroaching upon her as the afternoon draws on. Lindsay explores similar themes in Picnic at Hanging Rock, the innocent and vulnerable, threatened and claimed by an untamed landscape. Hanging Rock readily lends itself to Lindsay's gothic tale, its jagged pinnacles the signature ruptures of a lava flow phenomenon called mamelon. The rock, or Mount Diogenes, is an indigenous sacred site. It marks a significant meeting place for Zha Zha Warung, Tongarung, and Wurundjeri peoples, whose country it intersects. The traditional name, perhaps Anyong, or Nanailong, has long been lost with European colonization and the consequent deaths, forced relocations, and dispossession of the Aboriginal inhabitants. From the late 1830s, Hanging Rock and surrounding water sources began to support pastoralists and then towns, which flourished as stopover points to the goldfields. Hanging Rock soon became a pop popular destination for picnickers. Country race meetings were economically vital for the region and notable on the social and sporting calendar. Joan Beckett Lindsay was an exhibited artist and former pupil of McCubbin, who turned her creativity to writing. The structure of the text allegedly came to her in a series of dreams. Lindsay knew Macedon Rangers and appreciated the mystique of the rock, and so had the perfect setting. Seen here on right, she attended the renowned Clyde Girls Grammar School, echoed by Appleyard College in the book. The novel is famously unresolved. A final chapter was edited from the original manuscript to remove the imaginative mythological ending and so sense of closure. 
1975 Peter Weir directed film served to enhance the mystery and fame of the novel. Hanging Rock Stars and the Natural World Prevails, while symbols of European civilization face demise. Throughout her life, Joan Lindsay implied some details in the novel were real. In the published forward, she entices the reader with ambiguity. Whether Picnic at Hanging Rock is fact or fiction, the reader must decide for themselves. It hardly matters. And you know, it doesn't. My name is Leanne. I'm a librarian at State Library Victoria. Hanging Rock Reserve is temporarily closed, but in the meantime, we can be lost ourselves in this classic Australian story. Thanks for watching.